Hey guys and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I'm featuring the KV-13 a tier 7 medium tank that is nicely fitting in between the T-43 and the IS and this is a very special tank as it's more or less a smaller version of the IS with the 85mm cannon and when I say it's a smaller version it has the exact same armor as the IS and it's very fast going up to a top of 50 kilometers per hour and as you can see I'm bouncing shots all over the place and I'm playing this platoon up with Sinister Grim and he's in the comment and as you can see the DPM of this tank is quite high We're just decimating the enemy team. Now I'm keeping firing at the KV-3 here. I know the Leopard can't do anything at me. So I take him out with an old-fashioned ram instead. Now as you can see we only lost one tank. And it's been less than four minutes. and there it's over so this was a real blitzkrieg and now we'll show you the post game stats and as you can see we got the master badge and we also got the confederate we got almost 70,000 credits 5,133 experience on a triple And we did the most damage, 2400, 3 kills, 1141 base experience, 19 shots fired, 16 hits and 16 penetrations, 1200 potential spot and damage received and 953 spotting damage. And as you can see, compared to the uh, higher tiers, ammunition doesn't cost anything, more or less. And here we are again in the KV-13, now on Live Oaks. And last video I showed you the Blitzkrieg version, using that rate of fire to your advantage. 
this um, replay will be a bit different. As we are a tier 7 medium tank with heavy tank armor and medium tank speed, I'm actually gonna use the armor this time. And our first enemy is the KV-1S. And it seems I'm suffering from some lag here. So I got back up from a tiger and more tanks are coming to join the fight. So I push up a little bit. And try and find a good position to angle my armor. And as you can see, a KV-3 joined in the fight. But they haven't done any damage to me, except at taking out the tracks. And there came the first penetrating hit. moving away to give the tiger a clear shot I'm trying to find a good weak spot to aim at but as you can see the armor is quite good on this medium tank And here I unfortunately only have the tracks to shoot at. So I push forward once again. And here I'm in a bit better position as I have the stairs in front of me to protect me. And I'm trying to snipe the uh, cupola on top of the turret. But the gun is trolling me and Shots are going all over the place. And I get fed up and switch to high explosives instead. But even they are trolling somewhat. Now the front of the uh, KV-1's turret is very thick. So I try and put my shots 
wherever the uh, armor is the thinnest. So pushing forward once again. Take a nasty hit. And as you can see, I used my rate of fire to my advantage. I pulled back and managed to reload before he could put another shot into me and there I unfortunately missed the T-150 luckily my T-150 on my team takes him out and now there's only a KV-2 and a SU-100Y left And there is the KV-2. And I can't get a shot into him. So instead we're going from the SU. Now he turns to face us. I back up. And I'm doing something really, really risky here. Hoping that he is not turned around and he had him. And he shoots and misses. And we take him out. Now as you can see, we got 46,000 credits. We got steel wall and 3,500 experience we came second on damage but we came first in base experience fired 44 shots 38 hits and 24 penetrations 19 hits received and a potential damage received of almost 5,000 so yeah this uh, tank really has some good armor if you angle it properly and that gun is really really great at its tier so I hope you like this two replays of the KV-13 tier 7 Russian medium tank Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.